Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be doing a three year review of the CAT 259D and we're going to talk about the new 255 and 265 next generation CAT skid steers. We just love this time of year in Ohio. I mean, it's just wonderful. You know, all the trees have this beautiful dead look to them. And, uh, you know, your lips constantly chap up and you just get to try out all these cool flavors of chapstick. And, uh, you know, we just love the clouds and the wind and the cold. It's just so such a nice time of year. We just love this time of year here in Ohio. It's great. Alright, so I've had this about three years now, and I have, knock on wood, I have not had any real serious issues with it whatsoever. To speak of, it has 1,500 hours on it now. Not that much, but none of the cylinders are leaking. I have not blown any hoses, although I do know eventually this one down here is going to go 100%. Uh, it's, a, it's a rub spot, a wear spot. It gets dirt all down inside of here. I've talked about that before. But we're basically just going to kind of run through what what we uh, know about this machine, what's going on. So um, everything's been great, honestly. I can't recommend this machine enough. It's perfect, other than a few things. And uh, I was really hoping they were going to improve on it and the 255, 265 series that they came out with. And the main thing, can you guess what it is? The door. Come on, people. Like, you cannot get in and out without the loader arms being all the way down. So what do you do? You want to take it off. And if you're, if you're not careful, here, let me tell you a little secret. Whatever you do, do not take these off right here. If you take these off... It is absolutely ridiculous to get back together. If you're going to take the door off, you have to take it off here. Little lesson, little quick, quick tip. Okay, I'm not going to go into detail how I figured that out. But, basically, unbolt it. And you could probably bolt it back together that way too. If you did take these off, you would have to take this off to put this back on and then put this on. So, why can't they just make it slide up like a Takaguchi or a Kubota? Real simple. That is the best thing ever. Because, let's be real, there's times where you need to see out, clearly with no glass, and then there's times you don't want dust all over you. You want the best of both worlds. Takeuchi, Kubota. Why they didn't do this on the new series, that was like the biggest the biggest mistake they've ever made right there. You know, I know they did like an air-conditioned seat. That's awesome. Bigger cab, that's cool. You know, more touch controllies, more TV, more, TV, more camera. Uh, that's all good and dandy, but... I mean, the biggest thing they could have improved on was this door, and they uh, they did it the exact same way again. So why am I going to spend double the money on a new one to have the same design? It's pretty much the same machine. Everything else, I mean, it has more power and a couple other things, but there's nothing like worse to me, worse selling this machine to get into a new one. I don't see anything worthwhile on the new series, so I think it's kind of a fail. I love cap equipment, but I think it's they could have improved some things. I guess another thing they could have improved is this quick attach. I guess this is honestly probably the, the worst part about this machine. This thing's like a little electric motor right here that like uh, has no power whatsoever. So, I mean, it, even brand new, it, it just sounds pathetic when this thing, when you open and close these pins, it's just like... It's just like so pathetic sounding. So, uh, I've seen other ones. Like New Holland, I think, has hydraulic powered. Like, you hear the motor kick, like the pump kick on. Uh, and this one, why couldn't they just run a hydraulic line? What's the big deal? I mean, they pretty much already did down here. Why can't these just be hydraulic lines to run this thing instead of electric? I think that's kind of a fail. But I don't know if they improved on that on the new series. We'll find out. But I'm guessing they didn't do anything with that. They just want to do more things like creature comforts in the cab. But there's some real big things they could improve on here that they're just not i guess one other thing i just thought of um i don't know if they changed this or not they might have but one beef i have is all these vents they just blow directly on your legs so your legs end up freezing absolutely freezing cold in order to have like a really cool cab in the middle of summer which you always have it full blast air conditioning in the summer so it freezes your legs out to a point where like your kneecaps are literally like at 50 degrees from it blowing it shouldn't have like some vents maybe back here or i don't know somewhere else in the cab to disperse the air conditioning a little bit better 
Just a thought. So, what do we got here? PS3 controller. Something I think the new cat skid steer should have done is just integrate like a remote control for this thing. Like, why are we still climbing in inside of these things? It's 2024. They should have this. I know this type of technology is like available because you see it in different other applications like concrete pumpers and stump grinders and all kinds of other remote control equipment. Why can't this thing be remote control? Wouldn't that take away from all the in cab features that you need so much? Like, I mean, sure, you're, there's probably times that you need to get inside it, obviously, but wouldn't it be nice to be able to hop out, stretch your legs, walk around, get those uh, DVTs out of your legs that have accumulated in your arteries and just bust out a controller like this and drive it around and do what you need to do without bouncing around because no matter what if you spend any more than three hours in this machine at a time you're gonna feel it it sucks it's not a good feeling it bounces your guts out these things are horrible to run everybody knows that so why not be the first to like make this standard like you get you buy the machine you get a remote control standard why isn't that like that's next gen to me i think that would be absolutely awesome Imagine driving this thing around like we've all practiced playing Call of Duty and other games and stuff for years. So why wouldn't we just jump on a PS controller to control this thing? That would be that that would be absolutely awesome. Everybody would want to drive these if that were the case. So alright, that's gonna do it for this video. We're gonna have more videos coming out. And let me know what you think.